A pharmaceutical expert, Jerome Kanika, has alleged that Zambia does not need the COVID-19 vaccine urgently, but other essential drugs. During the COVID-19 routine updates, this reporter asked the health minister, Dr. Jonas Chanda, about this and has since discouraged health professionals from being narrow-minded. Hey, because the, India, the Serum Institute of India, who are making the COVID vaccines eh, for us, the AstraZeneca in particular, are overwhelmed in their own country, you know, eh, are given by Zambians. They may be manufactured somewhere else, but that's why we have a technical team. Even this afternoon at 15, we are meeting. So these vaccines will be administered by Zambians. The Zambians will be trained. I don't know whether those are medical professionals or which doctors, eh? yeah, because I'll be very shocked in today's world if there's a medical professional who is actually spearheading such a kind of uh, propaganda, because it is actually such kind of thinking that has caused a lot of disaster in a number of countries. Medical professionals are very narrow-minded, I should, uh, I'm sorry to use that word. COVID, the way to look at it is not just a health issue. It's actually a social economic issue. It's been proven wrong, we have had COVID deniers in almost every country. COVID vaccine deniers, they've been proven wrong, you know, and because they have nothing else to offer. But the ministry is concerned about patients who are admitted in health facilities for a long time and patients who present with severe symptoms. The severity of disease remains high for the few patients who are admitted. They are severely ill. Dr. Chanda says Zambia National Public Health Institute, ZNHPI, will be responsible for training health personnel who inoculate citizens with the COVID-19 vaccine. Zambia is set to receive doses of Johnson & Johnson vaccines from the African Union. In addition to the COVAX facility, we received communication from the African Vaccine Acquisition Task Team, AVAT, established by the African Union, indicating that Zambia has been allocated doses of Johnson & Johnson COVID-19 vaccines. This is in addition to what I've already mentioned, the COVAX facility. He is also concerned about the high deaths recorded from Northern Province. Malikana Mulele, S24 News.